What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a day in the life with the iPhone 15 and the camera that the iPhone 15 has. I'm gonna be testing out three things mainly, and that is the Blackmagic camera app, Apple ProRes Log, and this right here, the DJI Mic 2. So I'm heading to Issaquah right now to get my hair cut. I've needed one for a good amount of time, so I'm really excited to get one right now. But the plan is I'm going to stop and get a cold brew on the way because there's nothing like a nice day. And it is like probably 70 degrees out right now, which is the first time in a long time here. But there's nothing like a nice day and a cold brew while you're driving. But I'm going to do that. I got my hair cut and I'm really excited for that. So next stop is Starbucks. Can I do a grande cold brew with almond milk? Thank you. All right. So a few things. The first being I absolutely hate vlogging on an iPhone. I feel like I can control none of my settings and nothing's turning out the way I want it to. So this is going to be a lot of getting used to. Secondly, I am stuck in so much traffic right now, and I think President Biden is to blame for that with him being in town and probably going somewhere right now, but I've been stuck on I-5 for 40 minutes now, and uh, yeah. All right, I was running so late to get my hair cut. It took me about an hour 40 just to get out of Seattle, but I got my hair cut. What I like about getting a haircut isn't so much the haircut, it's the beard cut. If I had all the money in the world, I think I would pay for a personal barber to give me a haircut and a beard trim every single day. All right, so when reviewing the camera on the iPhone 15, there was but three I'm gonna head things to my parents I really now, wanted to get touch some on. Lunch. I'm going to go backwards and touch on and this one first. See what the and rest of the day holds. The DJI Mic 2. Prior to this mic, my wireless mic of choice was the Rode rode wireless go and it was a good mic for a little bit of time it was one of the first ones that came out and over time i just got sick of the audio from it it just didn't add up to my other mics so i ultimately sold it and i've been eyeing these for the longest time since the first gen was out and i finally pulled the trigger on them and it comes at a high hefty price tag it comes at about 350 dollars but you're getting a lot out of it. The first thing you're getting is a charging case. So you, once you put these in here, you're going to get a charge and it comes with two mics. It also comes with attachments for lightning and USB-C. As you can see, I'm shooting on the iPhone right now and the mic is up here. But as I take this off of here, you can see it comes with the windscreen, comes with this transparent kind of see-through look, which I'm a huge fan of clip in the back, magnet in the back. I'm ultimately testing is how well this can work in tandem with my other mics. That being my Sennheiser is my boom mic and my podcast mic, which is the Rode pod mic. But if they can work in tandem together, kind of like how I've been able to work cameras together with log, then ultimately this was a great purchase. But so far I'm a huge fan of it, but I do want to test it out a little bit more before I give my full thoughts on it in a full review that'll be coming out a little bit later. I'm kind of just chilling right now, taking in the sun. I'm going to go kind of visit with my parents for a bit. I'm going to clip this back up here and go on with the rest of my day. It is an eye catcher though. People have, people have said things and the, the lady at Starbucks today, as you can probably tell, was a little freaked out by it, but yeah, whatever. You got to do what you got to do to get the shot and tell the story. So the next thing I want to talk about was the cameras actually on the iPhone 14. And you have your front camera, you have your back camera, which is at a 13 millimeter, a 24 millimeter, and then a 48 millimeter, and then a 77 millimeter. So you have all of those options to shoot video. And it does well with the log footage and it does well for a camera. But what I'm running into is the fact that it just isn't mimicking what I want out of my cinema camera, that being my FX3. And I know it's an iPhone compared to a cinema camera, but what I've noticed this camera is good for in these lenses is capturing a shot right away. 
but a lot of people can't afford a cinema camera, can't afford a DSLR. So this is the next best option. You have three different focal lengths of lenses inside of your phone. And that is always the quickest option to capture content. So is this camera good? This camera is absolutely great. Apple's literally creating lenses now, and they're kind of like a camera brand a little bit by itself with what you can put into the iPhone with camera. All right, so one thing about me is, is I make a mean espresso martini. It's literally one of my favorite drinks, and I'm gonna put a little bit of a cold, cold foam on top of it, and enjoy a nice full beverage. All right, last night sort of got away from me in a way. I tried to get the Northern Lights, that didn't happen. Didn't end up going golfing, ended up taking a long nap, and really just catching up with family back home here and ultimately playing a lot of rummy queue. But the last thing I want to talk about to make up kind of the camera on the iPhone 15 is the Blackmagic app. And the Blackmagic app really changes a lot of things. You control your white balance, your tint, you got your peaking, your false color, your zebras. You have all of the things a legit monitor and a legit film camera really have to offer within the iPhone, which is nice. So you can't control that outside of just the camera app. But one thing I learned is you can't control your aperture, which is something extremely important. The moral of this story, the moral of kind of the iPhone 15 camera is the fact it is great. It is a great camera. Will I work this into my workflow? Yeah, maybe for like a shot here and there. I'll never do a dedicated video on this because one, the files are way too big. I have way too much comfortability with a camera and I will still see the difference. But this has been a fun little experiment to work with the iPhone 15. Let me know down in the comments if you use the iPhone for photo and video and what you think and what iPhone you have. And uh, I'm trying to get to 10K by the end of the year. I know I sound repetitive, but it's something that's really important to me and really important to what I feel my success is on this channel and growing this community. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. It helps me out more than you know. Make sure you hit that like button. And you know what? I'll see you guys in the next one.